come on. Where's my inbox GameCube at? I'm trying to impress the girl at the subway counter. What is this? The office video game. I love the white shroom. Do you ever just come across a video game so mind-boggling that you can't believe it exists? Well, that was me when I was digging through my basement a few minutes ago when I found the official Office video game. For the three people on this earth who don't know, The Office is a sitcom about the wacky antics that take place in the office of a paper company. Such characters include Michael Scott, the zany and childlike manager, Dwight Schrute, the try-hard gamer man, and Jim Halpert, the cool and awesome funny relatable straight man to the other characters. I could tell you more about the show, but just talk to anyone with the pulse, they'll tell you all about Dwight and the gang. Back to the game, it's relatively unknown. The game studio responsible for the game Mumbo Jumbo is a smaller developer and publisher. I mean, they've made some titles you might know, uh, Myth 3 and Baldur's Gate 2, but the Mac port. And then they've made such classics like Zombie Bolo Rama and Seven Wonders Ancient Alien Makeover. We're dealing with some pros here. Now, I actually took a look at this game about a couple years back, but I never really went full into depth about it or beat it. So, it is my duty, since this is my funny haha -ha game in all my videos, to 100% this entire game. Also, when I found it, it was glowing blue, so you know I might have some more content to offer now. I just wish I had some friends to beat it with. Ah, uh, I miss those guys. You know, being tracked down and attempted to be murdered by someone over a Christmas video game really brings you closer together. You know, normally you wouldn't constitute those kind of people as friends, but it's all I got. I'll go give them a call. Yep, hello. Uh, is that one smelly guy there? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the one and only. What do you want? Oh, it's, it's me, Bob, man. Oh, hey, what's up, man? I've heard you from Christmas. What's going on? I'm going all right. How's that smashed in skull tree? Uh, uh, just a few tongue tablets here and there. Um, how's your arm doing? I, I didn't like having one arm, so I just got two. Okay. Um, Anyways, uh, I got this office scene video game if you want to come over and play it sometime. Are you not kidding me? You said the office video game? Bro, I can't get, I can't get enough of Dwight in the game. Yo, I'm on my way. What the fuck? You yeah, oh better be worth it. How did you get this game anyway? Well, I just kind of found in my basement and it was glowing too, so I'm a little worried about it. I mean, I'm no extra on sitcoms, but I feel like we should be a little careful, you know what I mean? You know, I think I know a guy that can help us out. Uh-huh. Yeah, thanks. Alright, so Sean Joe's gonna join us today. He's burned down a hospital or something, so, you know, why don't we just get this started? Uh, my computer's broken, so we're gonna have to play it on this laptop. Jumbo. Open up the game. <laughs> God, that's musty! When you boot up the game, you make yourself a profile because God forbid someone play the same office save file as you. And Jesus, I know this game came out in 2007, but come on, they couldn't have come up with better 3D models, or at least ones that won't hide in my closet at 3am. Apparently this is a bobblehead art style, but man, this is not my Jim Halpert. Oh my gosh, is it a shaker though, man? Got some good 3D animation on this. Like, oh my gosh, even with the Kobe, it runs like it runs amazing. Are you kidding me? The shaders and everything you can see, all the office, the organ. Oh, I mean, I majored in game design. You're a loan shark. A loan shark who appreciates 3D modeling. The menu is pretty standard. You have the actual game, achievements, which I will be 100%ing this game. I expect to see speedrunning categories of this game. Options where you can just change the game difficulty and nothing else. And of course, see the credits. Ah yes, the men behind this masterpiece. Also, why is this random picture of Kevin just sitting there? Quick fun fact, while trying to get this game to work on my PC, it kept getting blocked for my protection. Obviously, I just had to play The Office, so I manually shut down the air. Let's just hope Dwight Schrute doesn't blow up my house or something. Enough fooling around. It's time to dive into the game. Alright, I'm about to hit play. Brace yourself. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm ready. Obviously, there's gotta be a deep-rooted lore for such a game. The story goes that their branch of the company might experience some downsizing, so to get productivity up, funny man Michael Scott comes up with a wacky competition to get productivity up, in which the winner will get a whole month of paid vacation. The joke is that the higher ups won't approve of this, but at the end they do let you have the month off, which makes no sense, cause don't they need the best productivity to avoid downsizing? 
damn the office video game for having minor plot inconveniences. So anyways, let's get into the meat of the game. The game. You're up against Dwight in the first level. The foundation of the gameplay is pretty simple. You grab certain colored folders for the various office employees, depending on what they ask for. After that, they'll ask for papers from the printer, or later on in the next few levels, a file from the filing cabinet, which you'll deliver to them. After that, they'll have a file, a report, or whatever the hell that is, to take to your boxes in the corner. You have to do all this faster than your rival. Oh, also, if you pick something up that you don't need or want, you can throw it in the recycling bin. As you complete levels, more is added, such as randomized order of the tasks and more colored folders. A few other game mechanics early on includes the prank meter. Fill that prank meter up and your old buddy Pam will distract your opponent for a certain amount of time. Some of these aren't even pranks. For one of them, you just play music and he dances to it? Alright, you got him good. You just played enjoyable music for him. Also, you straight up rob him for a prank. I've got to try this no, one in real life hey, sometime. Hey. Also, every now and then, Michael will come out of his office to have you play a little mini game, such as collecting stuff around the office that a character named Jan, Michael's boss, tells you to pick up, or going around to the office worker and picking up suggestions for the suggestion box that has random amounts of points assigned to them. These serve no purpose except to earn a few additional points to give you a break from the regular gameplay. Lastly, the best mechanic in the game is hands down the coffee machine. This will give you a temporary yet overpowered speed boost. Early on, you're normally faster than your opponent, but later on, this becomes essential to getting the most points in combo boost. Oh, I forgot to mention that every few levels, you can unlock new office workers that you could equip to give you various boosts, like more points per folder or extra coffee time. It's really nice to see how much this game has to offer, given the audience that this was marketed and made for. It's just fucking Diner Dash! Sound just like my dad. Listen, I appreciate that this game is doing the whole existence thing, good for it, but this is literally just Diner Dash. Diner Dash, for those of you who don't know, was a super popular time-wasting PC game that had lots and lots of games trying to ride off of its popularity. The Office, while it adds some new mechanics and slaps a new coat of paint on it, is still Diner Dash at its core. It's a time-wasting strategic game made for PC where you need to get the object that the people around you are asking for as fast as possible for more points. Sure, The Office has differences like Arrival, the lack of different game modes, so-called minigames, John Krasinski, but at the end of the day, the gameplay of The Office video game is just Diner Dash. Man, why do you even care anyway? This game was made for like my uncle, and he quotes Big Bang Theory. I don't know, man. I've just been sitting on wacky Dwight Schrute game for as long as I can remember, and I just wish it'd be good. I wish someone would understand that. Oh, maybe he does. Oh no! Let oh, Poppy or rabbits go home! We need to get out of here now! Yo, baby, he can help. He did this to us! Hey, Alan. Ah! No, You are in my secret lair, known only by myself. Is that my pool table? No. This is my basement. Silence! I'm here to question you about the game. Did you see him? Did you open it? Whoa, 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 slow down. Who even are you? Yeah, it's kind of rude to want to kill us. You could at least ask. My name is King Neptune. I'm here to stop you two and the monster you've unleashed. God, King Neptune for popular daytime cartoon SpongeBob SquarePants. Remember back like a year or two ago when I featured that gold spatula? How you doing? Told Bup, it's you! Sorry for trying to kidnap and torture you for information. How's it going, by the way? Oh, my room burned down. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. You gotta tell us why you try to kill us over the office video game now. Well, listen, Toad Bup, dumbass. Uh, when you opened the office video game, you unleashed a powerful being named Brad. He was a good man. He paid his taxes, didn't kill any orphans, and he just paid his dues in society. Hey, I just finished the office. Check this shit out, bro. Now that I've watched The Office, I need to make the world feel the same way about Michael Scott as I do. You've gone mad! Mad, I say! That's what she said. <laughs> Be gone, you fiend! I didn't get to watch the bloopers yet! Finally, he's gone. I know just where to put this. Wait, hold on. Why is my basement the perfect spot? I keep all kinds of shit down here. Whoa, wait, does that explain the glowing boxes over there? No, 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 that's mine. I, I like, I like someone plutonium right over there, you know? 
Well, where is this Brad guy at anyways? Well, his spirit is returning to its origin. He can sense wherever the disc is at any time. And as long as it remains in your burnt down room, we'll be able to catch him off guard. Well, you see, I kind of have to 100% the game, and it's like I kind of dedicated myself Fuck. to it. Fuck! Fuck! No! No! Do you know what this means? If he finds the person who opened it, he can go back to full power! You idiots! Besides, we'll be fine. I already beat Dwight on this thing. We're gonna be great. Think, Bob, think! Do you see- Wait, you beat Dwight? I can't get past Dwight. But Damn. Wait, what if Brad comes in through that door? Oh, don't you worry. <laughs> I got a secret magic power that I keep my watch. Wait, really? Wait, do you have like some magic power like fire or wind or something? After you beat the first stage, Dwight admits defeat and you game as your main pranker from here on out. Next up is Ryan in the Valentine's Day themed office. Ryan is faster, another office worker is added, and a new folder is added. This is where the prank system also becomes a game of chance. You either get a prank that'll last like 20 seconds that'll give you a huge advantage, or you get like a 5 second one that'll do nothing but make you feel ashamed. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that over time, your office equipment will upgrade, such as the cooldown timer of the vending machine or coffee maker. The coffee machine gets upgrades, but, uh, I don't think they do anything. Speaking of vending machines, this is the level where it's introduced. It's supposed to work where you get a snack from it to bribe the office workers, but not only does the score boost you get from it not really matter and waste time, I can't get it to work. I've gotten it to work sometimes, but after the first few times, it just wouldn't work anymore. Give me that, I could beat this easily! How did you do that? Well, they call me the human vending machine in high school. After you beat Ryan, you advance to the next level where you must fight Andy Bernard in a Halloween themed office. Once again, Andy is faster, a new folder is added, a new office worker is added, but this time, they introduced the randomizer system. You see, before it would just go folder, printer, then finished. But now it's randomized! This is amazing! I love this game! I, I haven't had much going on lately. After the third stage though, besides basic difficulty and the stage theme, nothing much changes from here on out. In the fourth stage, you fight Angela on the Christmas theme stage. More difficult, more folders, more pain, you know the drill. The pranks change up a bit, the story continues, but that's about it. It's seriously formulaic, but I mean, it's THE office video game. I'm not really sure what I expected here. I'm sorry it's not everything you imagined. It can knock you out cold and you can drain it, it's a good game. No, 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 it's, it's fine. I'll, I'll beat it anyways. Are you serious? You're gonna play that f***ing shit show of a game? It's so bad! Why would you ever do that? But then this is my funny game! This has been in my life for so long, and it's about time I played it and make a big whoop out of it. But what else am I supposed to do? Why do you have to have a funny game in the first place? Everyone has a funny game. Just ask, uh, everyone. I don't know. Play Rabbits Go Home or something. You son of a- Hey yo. Hey yo, guys. I got a guy right here that wants to talk about the white truth with y'all. Dear Neptune. He's found us. Hello, Plutonians. How are things? Neptune, you haven't forgotten about the past ten years that you've locked me away, have you? No. Naughty Neptune, you're lying to me. I don't know who it was. Maybe it was... That guy! Go! Now, take the game! Don't let him catch you! Come on, we gotta get out of here. Can we stop by Subway first? You stupid? Of course we can stop by Subway. Go! Go! It's time to end this. I've watched Big Bang Theory funny moments before this fight. I'm so powerful! That's it. It's time to end this. How? How is this possible? You fool. I've watched season 3 bloopers of The Office! Ah! Now, to find those two goobers that have taken my game. But first, I must watch some Jim Halpert funny prank compilations. <laughs>
After you beat Angela in stage 4, Michael Scott is up, but his boss comes in and condemns the whole competition, which he will later go back on and let Jim have the paid month off anyways. Once again, the difficulty is ramped up, but with the boost I get from the office workers and the coffee machine, I was able to beat the game with a perfect score on every single level. Jim gets the month off, and the game ends with an award ceremony. Oh wow, what a heartwarming ending. I can go for a foot long. Oh boy, daddy's coming. We gotta run. I need to finish the game though, come on. <laughs> to get all the achievements, you need to not only beat the whole game, but to get perfect scores on every single level and get the biggest possible combo in the game, which I was able to do. <laughs> I think I'm the first person to ever 100% this game. Anyways, that's the end of the office video game. Once again, get down. It's just your basic waste time waster with an office flavor add to it. But hey, if you like the office a lot, you might like it. Kind of like the guy trying to blow us up right now. I think he'd enjoy it. Man, we're trapped. I don't know what birds feel like. What's that mean? Finally, I have you two trapped just like Michael traps Dwight and Jim in season 2, episode 21 of The Office. When he traps them to talk about Jim's various pranks. Well, this is it. My only regret is that I didn't play Friends on PS2. Strong Arm Joe! Actually, I changed my name to Power Man Pete. Why'd you do that? Well, see, a few months ago after I became Christmas, you know, that kind of puts you on the radar and people start noticing you, and they don't really want a mass murder being Christmas. So I decided I might want to change it for my own safety, and you know, it has a nice ring to it. So how are you guys doing? Ah, no, it's fine. Just came my f***ing skull in. Hey, 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 calm down, man. I said I was sorry. <sighs> Alright, kittens. That's enough playtime for now. Much like the white shrewd from the office, I'm going to get some work done. Looks like we gotta use the power of friendship to defeat this fella. Friends? Give me $20 to play a computer game with you. And I was told it would be Subway. Where's that at? It's too powerful, but I got one last plan. Here, the uh, suit guy. Take this, and when I say go, open it. Ready? Go! Do it! Now! No. I ain't here, please. Fine. No! We did it! Let's go! Yeah, we did it! Yeah. Yo, yeah. I'm putting this on my resume. I'm working at IHOP. Let's go, I'm cleaning up my ass. Man, I'm glad you got Man, I do a lot of legal shit, bro. I think I might apply to a soup kitchen. Hey, uh, can you hold on to this? I'm gonna go talk to that goth girl at the subway counter. I think I have a chance. <laughs> hey, oh, my bad. Hey, oh, my bad. That's it. Daddy's angry, and you're in my way. Ah! And you, kitten, you opened the game. Do you know what that means? No, I was trying to be nice to you, bro. I even opened the fucking game for you. What about you? No, you was gonna happen, bro. Man, fuck you, bro. Damn. I absorbed your little buddy. What are you going to do now? He's too powerful, Pete. What do we do? You know, Mr. Bup, I have one last idea, and it's all because of you. You show me I'm capable of change, and show me that being Christmas honestly isn't that great. Like, bruh, Santa can't even drink Coke, man. Can't drink Pepsi, nothing like that. Only fucking more milk. Like, bruh, nasty in my opinion, but I, I can do it. I have an idea. 
No, Power Man P! You know what, Mr. Bup? I have one last thing to tell you. My real name is, is Keith. Keith. <laughs> all, right, all right, come on, man. That, that wasn't cool, bro. That wasn't very nice of him. I don't, I don't know what to do. See you later, stinky. Ah! Ah! Where am I? Why does it smell like sulfur? I gotta stop my falling. Maybe if I throw these Game Boy games, it'll slow my fall. That didn't do anything. So this is how it ends. Trapped falling inside the office video game forever. I can think of worse ways to go out. I mean, I just wish I didn't doom the earth before I left. That one's on me. Yeah, I'm falling forever. I kinda dug myself this hole. Remember when I talked about a 5th gen console? Those were simpler times, mostly when I was inspired. And let's talk about FNAF. I would never get tired. How did I go on to Omega twice? Having a gun held up to you isn't that nice. I want an impact, I thought I had had my shot. But seems my death had to do with Michael Scott Time after time I thought I finally had hit So how do I keep finding myself at this bottomless pit? We had some good times though, right? Like, remember the time I played that scary Sonic game? The time I played the Office video game before it led to my death? And the time I played Talking Angela? I need to get outside more. I miss back when I was hopeful back in the good old days. I would talk about Spongebob and then play some Flash games. Also, of course, I created Prey Schlatt. We don't talk about that. This endless void reminds me of Faster's Quest. Those awful games have had me feeling at my best. I just want solace, I want to feel at ease. If I were to land now, I'd probably break my knees. I can't stop falling, I might as well just quit. I need the strength to get myself out of this bottomless pit. So this is what the inside of Steve Carell feels like. <gasps> Neptune, is that you? I was in the middle of being dead and got bored, so I just came to check up on you. I'm sorry, I got captured inside the game. If I had been more original with what I play and do, this wouldn't have happened. I'm sorry. Hey, we could play a Monopoly or something. We got all Atari to play. You got a board on you or something? Not on me, no. That's fine, you can just use that wish I owe you. Hold, hold on, wish? What wish? When you freed me, I gave you that one wish I owed you. I thought you knew this. Spatula. I will grant you one wish. You're right. I could use the wish to go back and stop Brad. But I'm just gonna mess it up. You're just gonna give up that easily? As funny as it is to see you cry, Earth needs to stick around so I can see young Sheldon. I'm gonna do something to help you out. Let's go, Tope up, you got this! Let's go! You can do it, Toad Bup. Yeah, you can do it. You go, Bup. Hey, Toad Bup. You can do it. Toad Bup, according to my calculations of you getting this, it's looking, uh, pretty good. You can do this, Toad Bup. Come on, Bup. You can fucking do this, man. You got this. You got this, Toad Bup. Toad Bup, you got this. I believe in you. Don't give up yet. Wow, Toad Bup. Great moves. Keep it up. Proud of you. Come on, Toad Bup. You can do this. Welcome to my standard routine. It's all up to you, Bup. We believe in you. You got this, Toad Bup. <laughs> you got this, Toad Bup. Oh, what did I eat? I believe in you, Toad Bup. Keep it up.
Come on, Topa! Pull that cringy anime bullshit out of your ass and win! Look how many people want you to keep going. Are you just gonna let them down? No, I won't. Thank you, Neptune. Uh, do you wanna hang out after this? I don't know, you kinda smell like a gas station. I wish for the power to return and defeat Brad. What? This is more impossible than Dwight getting outsold by the website Season 4, Episode 5 and 6. It's time I made up for my mistakes. Goodbye, Brad. I hope they have office-themed t-shirts in hell! Sorry, man. I shouldn't have dragged you into this. I was just so obsessed with playing the Office video game, I just couldn't help myself. It was my funny game. I'm sorry. Uh, that, that's cool and all, but... Can we go to Subway, though? Have two exciting fires, make chips. HELL YEAH! Yeah! Okay, maybe you should start throwing pickles at you, but that's the start. Well, I mean, at least Subway compensated me with this exact replica of my room. Except for the scary man in my closet, it's exactly the same. Nothing says victory like ruining the subway bathroom. So who wants to compete for the highest score against Dwight? Yeah! Let's